Welcome to the IVM Podcast Network. TFG Football is an IVM production and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Geek Fruit with fellow and television geek Stages Jishnu and Dinkar as they discuss the world of science fiction and nerd culture. You're listening to TFG Football. Well, it was all about the blues yesterday. The blues that we at TFG Indian Football Podcast are interested in are the Bengaluru FC who've taken who've lifted the Federation Cup trophy and it's also their fourth title in 4 years. Uh so it's like I mean they're on a roll after having a dismal performance in the I League and then you know now they're in a must win situation at the AFC Cup. Uh this comes as a really good breather for them and a time to enjoy and you know probably have a smile back on their face and also the fans uh it was a gritty game uh end to end contest till the end I mean mind you it was went till the extra time and the second half of the extra time is where the two goals were scored well CK Vinith uh the man behind those goals i think uh, kevin do you agree on this if i say one that all the frustration that was led up to I, mean, i don't think he cared about it but still you know everybody was talking about it the rage over him being sacked by the job that he was working at and then you know then came a day when it was his birthday he celebrated really well looks like so all of this turned to be like a really good day for him and then a good occasion where he stepped up when you knew you know your man sunil chetri is not there and then cameron watson was not playing so it really turned up well for him because he replaced came up came out in the second half and really did a good job for bengaluru thoughts on the match please yes, there had to be a hero you know it couldn't be done without an uh, you know somebody who can just end the everybody came close you know mohan mm. bagan were wa- wa- well, not yeah. all that bad yeah and bengaluru wa- were very close on one of few occasions but uh, there was something required to break that so being so close and to go past that finish line and it it had to wait for like you know just so close it was ending and going towards the penalty yeah. and that's when ck vinith comes in hmm. and you see that thing in him you know when he scored that goal there was all that was that was pent up hmm. that just came out that was released yeah. and you know it it couldn't have been a better final hmm. it was evenly fought yeah. both teams really showed that desire uh, to some extent i would really say that uh, mohan bagan did look at the at the quality best i think the fatigue caught them towards the end they really i don't know i don't know how the fatigue up. you know hmm. it, it plays a part but uh, yes uh, when it goes to extra time your legs are tired yeah your mind wants to play Because but your body when, does not allow even you even when sanjoy sen did his last substitution it was way during the 90 minutes and i heard the guy still remember the comment saying that he is not looking at the ni- extra minutes you know he wants to finish his job right now he already nobody wants to finished. go to extra time yeah. you know it's always that uh, once you go to extra time it's uh, hardly anything yeah. that you have yeah. it mostly goes on luck Penalties, and there one yeah. one chance one mistake hmm. but this was not a mistake you yeah. know this was individual brilliance and uh, needed someone to step up hmm. when sunil chetri leaders like uh, him and not day on the field when uh, katsumi no, was not firing nor day was you know kept at bay hmm. well marked so there had to be somebody had to go past that that you know that brilliance was required this hmm. was not a team it, it was wasn't a team goal hmm. it was somebody's individual brilliance yeah and it had to be somebody hmm. see yeah. when it took it all the way yeah well serenjit now And you know, when mm. it went to extra time we must have all thought that please let's not go into pe- penalties now because they both are playing their best both are giving it all let's just have you know for me at least it was that somebody please score like i don't want to see penalties after you know such a tiring match and then again going for a nail biter event so Charin, how would you sum up the whole game what what went wrong for bagan well well uh, mohan bagan what went wrong was uh, Uh, what has been going wrong for them throughout the season uh, you know and uh, it's games like this where you cannot allow that much of uh, whatever you call it you know that kind of a hole in your game when the st- season started uh, earlier on uh, when we were talking about uh, the mohan bagan side uh, we discussed that you know there are a couple of players that mohan bagan cannot do without so nino mm-hmm. is one of them katsumi usa is another of them and pranoy haldar was the other big guy hmm. because one injury to him would leave them without a proper blocker hmm. 
Hmm. And that's what happened throughout the game, you know. Any team with a decent midfield exploits Mohan Bagan because they don't have a good blocker in the midfield. Yeah. So much space allowed, so many chances that uh, Bengaluru FC managed to create down the middle. Eugene Salindo had so much space. Mm, yeah. And uh, that, that's, that's what was happening. Even then, the Mohan Bagan were trying their best. Both teams were really at it. The 90 minutes were thoroughly enjoyable, even though there was no goal. A uh, couple of, uh, you know, contentious offside decisions, I think they were true, but, uh, you know, that's still up for debate. Uh, I can see both sides of the argument. But still, uh, you know, a couple of balls, Pitam Kotal sent that cross, brilliant did not get a good finish. A couple of really good balls lobbed into the Bengaluru FC box by uh, Sony Nordic during those corners especially. Hmm. But that did not get a finish. I don't know how they did it. I think uh, Pulasta was talking about in, in the commentary. Suddenly, Katsumi Yusa was turned off. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, and you know how, he, how that is happening is that he's not getting fouled. Hmm. So, something just happened. The the right wing just turned off. He was better when uh, Prabhupada Das came on and uh, he moved the middle. That, uh, he looked a little bit better. But still, Mohan Bagan did not look the cohesive side that they uh, looked, uh, you know, against uh, East Bengal, for example. Yeah. Uh, something something was a little bit off. Though uh, I, I think it, I think it sort of came because of the fact that even though they were keeping most of the ball. They could not create as many effective chances as Bengaluru FC were creating. Hmm. You know, and even though a couple of goals got uh, flagged for offside, still they were the ones getting through. Yeah. They were the ones, uh, you know, hitting the bar. And Cornell Glenn comes in; he just really rattles them. Yeah. You know, towards the end. And and uh, Kevin is right when uh, Sanjay Sen made that substitute. He was looking for a 90-minute finish because it was so obvious. That Bengaluru FC uh, had a better stamina, younger team. You know, uh, Eduardo Ferreira was getting beaten by pace so many times, hmm. and that's a bad combination. You allow, you have somebody like Samin Len who can make those darting runs uh, down the middle, and you have, you don't have a blocker like Pranay Halder who can put a challenge to him. That gives him more space in the midfield, and then you have Eduardo Ferreira who cannot keep up with his pace. Hmm. So immediately he just he's given a direct channel into the Mohan Bagan penalty box. Had uh, Devjit Majumdar not made a couple of really good saves you know uh, Mohan Bagan could have conceded two in the in the uh, first 90 minutes also hmm. at the same time had Sandesh Jingan not made those couple of clearances yeah Bengaluru FC would have been down by one or two goals hmm. you know so th- in that way the, uh, the defense was really at their edge uh, you know Amrinder Devji both played a brilliant game and you're right had this gone down to penalties it would not have been fair to either of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, so the, uh, there comes the last 15 minutes and Bengaluru FC definitely looked the side more eager, more fred, uh, a late substitution in as well. So they were the ones who were ma- uh, you know, making the uh, better runs and uh, up for it. In, and, uh, you know, it started with uh, Connell Glenn hitting the post. Yeah. And then came the last bit of luck that had been missing uh, you know throughout the game for them you mm. know and uh, Anna Sera Thodika I feel bad for the guy uh, Eugene Sun's ball came in and his header served it up for you know <laughs> CK Vineet it yeah. looked like an assist <laughs> okay <laughs> the way it just his uh, attempted clearance just went to Vineet and then Vineet takes a shot and I think Devjit has the ball covered but who does the ball hit Anna Sera Thodika and then the deflection takes it beyond Devjit. Hmm. And that was over. It was over right then and there. Yeah. You know, there was yeah. no way Mohan Bagan could have gotten back from there. Uh, given the kind of heavy duty stuff hmm. the Bengaluru FC defense was putting up. Hmm. And of course, they put enough, uh, you know, they had to put everybody forward, right? Yeah. And uh, just try to, get, because it was all up for grabs and then. Uh, so uh, that, that's what happened. Uh, you know, everybody went forward. Then the second goal happened acres of space given to CK Vineet, you know, mm, mm. and that would not have happened had uh, Munbaga not been a goal down. So, and that allowed them to seal it up. So, yeah, yeah that that was it. Bengaluru FC deserved it. They are uh, the cup champions of India. They are so, you know, pu- they put so much emphasis on Fidre- uh, AFC Cup. Mm. You know, good luck to them. They have a really big game coming up. Hope they can uh, end the Game, uh, no season and a winning note as well, and they have AFC Cup next season confirmed. Yeah. So yeah. 
they 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 have done their job they have yeah, won a trophy absolutely. they have uh, kept up afc cup campaign yeah, yeah. now kevin in the preview film remember we spoke about how these two teams look like a man to man great power you know and then sirenji just spoke that everybody was at their best you know whether it was you could say amrinder versus debji that happened as the defenders or defenders that happened so what do you think where did bengaluru score leave the goals apart just the 90 minute game and the extra time game where did they score the the, the game was not won by the, those two goals hmm. it was uh, the try try factor hmm. you know uh, there was some excellent saves by both amrinder and debjit right. but uh, bengaluru were the ones who started with that thrust in the first half hmm. it took a while for Beng, uh, for mohan bagan to come into the game but when they came in it was with equal you know that equal response that they had to give it back hmm. and uh, uh, the strategy wise uh, udanta he, he did not start on the right he started on the left yeah. no what genius is that that he does not play his best foot player on on his regular position hmm. he starts him on the left you can see he's struggling with his crosses but he was still able to do it you know send in some difficult balls for mohan bagan defender but in the in in the you know just as with the game progress he was suddenly back to his you know the right flank hmm. so this is something that that's you know a dynamic uh, strategy that uh, roka had applied you don't have your players playing at the usual position this is something that he did try to do different in hmm. the game hmm. and maybe that just put off uh, the uh, defenders of mohan bagan and uh, uh, for me mostly uh, this is you know this was packing your defense at one point of time when Beng, uh, the bagan had the ball their players did not get any space in the box of uh, bengaluru fc because they mm. had like seven players mm. right in front of the box yep. you know that that just forces you to take long shots it does not allow you to come into the into into the box and try to wriggle your way inside mm. so this was you know a thought a thought of plan which Beng, which bagan did not even try to even go past it they fell for that trap and that that is where they got sucked into had they been been uh, you know a different midfielder who tried to bring the ball in the middle and try to you know try to get in those fouls so bengaluru were not committing too many fouls fouls it was those cards that were given were mostly for just pushing and just shoving play, uh, players players mm. here and there it was not tactical foul they mm. allowed bagan to play the way they wanted they did not tackle and it was just large dis tackles like how uh, 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 Sandeep Jingle, Jingle uh, just gets in the uh, sliding tackle before yeah. that ball just went in from the six-yard box. So it was a well-planned and well-thought-of move by Roka, and it was it it led to a perfect execution. Mm. And for me, that two volleys, one was uh, the volley by Udanta, that uh, the one he took it in the box. Mm. So it, I think uh, it hit Len, and that was uh, offside given the second goal which yeah. is allowed. Mm-hmm. And the one volley by Balwant, he struck it so sweetly that should have been a goal and would have been one of the best goals. Mm. But Amrinda was up to it. Yeah, you know, deservingly. Uh, I'm not. I, they could have been different heroes, but the hero of the match was given to Amrinda. But I can say both the goalkeepers did put up a strong performance. Mm. Overall, exciting game to watch. Although yeah. there were just two goals late in the game, mm. but you know, it just kept you at the edge of the seat that any team can score any moment. Mm. Now, Chiranjit, uh, we've seen how mm. I mean we've we've seen Sanjay Sen do really good for Mount Magan, whatever that is. But now this season, will will it haunt him back? How does it, have you had any talks with the inside team, or you know how the situation like uh, for him? What's his future like? Well, he may not be back. Okay. He may not be back next season. So he has already been talking about it. Uh, he said, uh, "I I heard already, you know, told everybody that if we, if I don't win uh, a trophy." Uh, in Mohan Bagan, that is considered a failure, uh, no matter how close you come to it, mm. and how what is the margin of uh, the difference between having a trophy and not having a trophy, even if it's very little, it's still a failure. Mm. And uh, there is a good chance he may not be back, especially if Mohan Bagan play in ISL, which which we will see. You know, next next few days uh, we'll see developments on that front. But he has said if if Mohan Bagan uh, officials give him a contract for the next season, then he will consider it. and then he said something which i don't agree with at all given the timing uh, he said that uh, uh, if i come back next season i will have more uh, 
what do you call it more conditions uh, from my side on how the team is going to be built because uh, you know the entire team was not built according to his wishes a lot of the signings were made by the officials without really taking his final word on it but why is he saying this now you know he could have said this before, uh, throughout the season after he's uh, he has failed to win a trophy he's uh, you know putting some of the whatever you call it the uh, responsibility of it on the uh, uh, officials so it's it's this double speak he's trying you know similar to what steve uh, trevor morgan did after his bengal had a bad season in i league that okay i take the responsibility but it's not entirely my responsibility either so uh, the, i don't get what he's trying to do uh, anyway uh, there is a good chance he will not come back to the mm. club next season okay now kevin coming back to you uh, this is roka's first title at bengaluru fc you know we we you could clearly see that he was numb and silent and not straight faced throughout the match and by the first goal he just erupted with the whole bench you know hugging his colleagues and yeah, of he course he erupted twice before that yeah. also <laughs> and then the second goal he just went crazy you know and then we saw him at the presentation and everything so what do you think now a must win situation in afc cup well looking at the ma- the way they played tonight i mean last night uh it was a really good game so if they can keep pop to that and you know give their best against mazia what are the chances do you see of roka at bengaluru fc at this moment i think it was uh, required uh, for Ro- roka to get this win hmm. this title else he was already on his way out okay you know there was no domestic titles to their name hmm. uh, defending champions you know, it just lets it go so easily and you have the entire season the pre season mm. and yet you're not able, not able to get results mm. with the squad that was built for for being the champions it was a big question mark on his career mm. it was already mm. so if this was not on his bag you know you could consider that that game against mazia was you know it could have been just something like just uh, how mohan mohan bagan was in in the afc cup mm. that it's all gone we'll just mm. pray for pride mm. so it would have been a different game had bengaluru not won yesterday hmm. but now that he's got something hmm. uh, you know there are there are some chances that uh, he might continue next year but hmm. uh, i i don't think the management will be too happy hmm. giving everything that he wanted and everything he had and he was one of the managers who was in charge of the team well well before the the squad was made hmm. so he cannot even complain that uh, i was not part of it hmm. Mazia will be a totally different game. Uh, mm. Yes, uh, uh, positivity on their backs. This is going to help the team. Mm-hmm. But had it been the other way around, had Mohan Bagan taken a trophy, you know, for them it also it was something to take home because they had lost uh, on the I League mm. and uh, the AFC Cup. Mm. So it, it was very important for both teams to win over here for yeah. both managers. Yeah. So let's hope uh, if it can be translated into the AFC Cup as mm-hmm. well. Now, parting thoughts, Tiranjit. Uh, more or less, uh, I think the domestic season has come to an end. Uh, I guess we have over the AFC Cup. This is the Continental Championship that happens, mm-hmm. right? So, how do you sum up this domestic season? K- keeping aside all the off the pitch, whatever happened, keep it aside. But I League, Federation Cup. How do you sum it up? Uh, the entire 2016-17 season concerning uh, Indian club football uh, and uh, other domestic uh, competitions. it says a lot that the best uh, game uh, best sort of cup final of the game came at the end of the season mm. you know and uh, that this is probably the last federation cup match that will ever happen mm. and we'll probably have a super cup or something next season mm. so this is an end of an era make no mistake about it uh, federation cup has been around since before i was born like 38 uh, times it has decided which is the cup winner of india at one point it it this is what was uh, called the champion of india tournament you know mm. you win this you are the champion of india so it has it has uh, you know seen indian football progress through the ages and now it's going to maybe uh, make way for something uh, of a better tournament maybe Mm-hmm. And, uh, something that will grow into something that is like FA Cup, but you know you should you should not forget this match. You should not forget the people who traveled uh, for you know the thousands of people who traveled from Kolkata, the people who traveled from Bengaluru, mm. uh, you know just came all the way to see, witness this, you know mm. witness this uh, historic moment yeah. and so much that was up for it. Coach's this job is on the line, the players' livelihoods, uh, their contracts at the club, uh, everything is on the line. Even the club's futures were on the line uh, in last night's game. That you know. Uh, Mohan Bagan, they did not win the uh, Federation Cup. Had they won it, 
today would be a very different day you know hmm. and uh, when they go to talk to IMG Reliance and uh, AIFF with East Bengal they would have a very different tone you know, you know hey we are the cup winners give us more respect that have taken now they are not they are in a much weaker position and they will probably have to concede a lot if they are to play in ISL mm-hmm. Bengaluru FC also you know how they would design their next season depended on this game whether mm-hmm. they are in the AFC Cup or not so everything was up for grabs this is one of the high stakes games ever uh, in, in recent Indian football history and uh, we saw you know the, the true champions emerge uh, in such a compelling fashion yeah. and compare this cup final to any other cup final we've seen AFC Cup final uh, the very Bengaluru FC was the ISL final you know tired game that went down to the penalties mm-hmm. then uh, the uh, Santosh Trophy final mm. whatever you know uh, IWL final this final just eclipsed all other finals yeah. that we have seen in this particular fitting in to what once was what has been there for Indian football over the years and what will no longer be there and it should remain as a as a, uh, as a, as a statement that even though we may get something more shiny to replace what we have today hmm. this had more heart than we will ever see yeah maybe what we have next will uh, become like this maybe it it will have uh, acquire this kind of inner beauty in a soul uh, that we we see reflected in, in tournaments like federation cup hmm. but hey this this imperfect beauty that we have it wasn't so bad and it could have been given more respect it yeah. could have been with us you know going forward yeah. we we could cherish this hmm. well, that's a good way to sum up the season now kevin asking you uh your thoughts on the whole season just like he said were you were you this is the first time you were you know part of this indian football family to say to say right to that you've seen everything from isl to i league then the iwl short stint then the afc cup and then the federation cup and you know, a lot of things so how do you sum up uh see uh, first lesson that we learn from uh, bagan is about planning <laughs> you know how planning can go wrong if you've not you know thought about your priorities and making things you know in part of your calendar mm. in spite of knowing everything beforehand so that that is one thing uh, because if you are going to put your uh, leg in two boats you need to know when is one is going to sink mm. <laughs> which one to jump to mm. so that that was bagan's problem and for bengaluru you know uh, it was a change of coach which everybody thought the champion side will be just you know riding everybody in this season mm-hmm. uh, with all the glory that they got in the continental and uh, even in the domestic but it wasn't to be you know what went wrong nobody can still figure out what what was the exact problem they were the same team the squad was just added it just got better they had big names but they just couldn't click so in in introspection we really do not know what could be the reason hmm. but uh, yes a coach can make a lot of difference uh, the attitude of the team also makes a difference your key players do make a difference so it's about rotation it's about uh, setting your priorities and planning things if if everything doesn't work out you know we are going to go head in the wrong direction and look at as well how they've been you know they've planned perfectly they did not want the federation enough and they did not even put their 100% effort and you know when you already have something in your hand why even go for something that you are not 100% sure of bengaluru and mohan bagan you know their season was just you know at at similar fate both wanted it both needed it and one got it so it's just about that last minute try 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 and you can get it Hmm. So for me it was perseverance of uh, Bengaluru that got them through. Hmm. Yeah, what was, what was your favorite moment of the whole season if I had to ask you? Not just these two teams, I'm talking about the whole season in general. Was it was it as all lifting the trophy? <laughs> uh, the favorite moment uh, that I enjoyed the most in all all of this Indian football for the first time so much in detail that I followed was that the fans, you know, how how they can lift your team up. Hmm. For me that was the best moment. when your team is down in you look at bengaluru's fans you look at mohan bagan's fans they travel if they are not traveling they show the support on on social media look at azol they show their support you know even on the first game and in the last game even if they're not there they are on the hills this is something that really cheers you and 
something i have not seen in india for a long time hmm. and this just builds up if there are fans there's going to be tv uh, things shown on tv and that is going to go, that's what takes us sport forward hmm. for me that was the best part okay well on that note i think our show has come to an end and if you're listening to us on youtube hit the like share subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so you get updates of our all our episodes you can also follow the tfg football twitter handle to keep yourself updated also read about all these stories that we spoke about throughout these days about indian football on our website thefangarage.com now we don't end i know the season has almost come to an end but we don't end with our shows we go on as in daily usually basis because now we move into the off the pitch <laughs> scenes that are going to happen about the merger situation and where who, who like just like i think the commentator summed up uh, let's see uh, where these clubs play and what in what league <laughs> that we'll have to wait and watch but for now i think it's a great season it has been a great season that has come to an end uh, hope you enjoy the show uh, we are also on twitter personally boza underscore kevin chiranji toja sajjan matthew 94 have a great day folks come back to us tomorrow because we are a daily show cheers good evening ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking sorry to say but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun as you can see there's death destruction and chaos taking place all around us But don't you worry food and drinks will be served shortly and I would recommend checking out IVM podcasts to get some of your favorite Indian podcasts we'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over thank you